Hello, it's Mike at OCD Lawn Care. It's the 19th of November. Windy day, miserable. Bit of sunshine, but still miserable and very, very wet here. Um, we've done a lawn three weeks ago. Look at the state of the hair, excuse that. Um, and uh, we're gonna show you what it's like, the big reveal. We've done lots here. Ground elder, the place was a, a bit of a disaster. So we killed the lawn off and uh, we're starting again, basically. Uh, come spring, we'll be planting out the flower beds and uh, it'll all look fabulous, hopefully. So let's see what the lawn's like. I'll take you over it right now with the sheets on and then uh, we come back when the sheets are off. Let's have a look. Okay, as you can see, the grass is coming through. It's been left too long, but uh, there was just no chance. No chance we could um, get out here, really. Um, yeah, so <laughs> it's really uh, sudden. I'll show you some um, images of before what this place looked like because uh, we did redo all these flower beds. Ground elder had taken controls, so everything had to be killed. It was just a mass weed bed and lots of moss. And as you can see. So a quick voiceover on this one. As you can see, we killed all the flower beds. The ground elder was hideous. So we killed it all, sprayed it off, and the lawn. Then we scarified it. Then we top dressed it. Leveled this area, it was a big dip. More top dressing. And then we did our seeding and leveling. Back to the video. The grass is sticking out plenty. So, they say you shouldn't do it this time of year, but we had to get something to compete with the weeds. So it's a case of having to. So uh, let's get these sheets off and see what we've got. Right, we've taken the sheets off and for three weeks since seeding, I'm pretty happy. Um, yeah, we've got to be realistic. It's been horrendous weather. We've had storms, winds, you name it. Sheets held up. I've been on the holiday for 10 days. Wasn't ideal. Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's show you what we got. There we go. Obviously patchy, uh, but pretty impressive to be honest. Um, I don't want to walk out there, but um, that's a nice thick sward of grass in areas. So, little tweak in the spring, some little tiny overseed, do some areas that we had problems with. Obviously, this area down here is struggling, but there's no light, there's very little sunlight now. No air, not much airflow there. Over there, the seeds run off. So just some little little tweaks and uh, should be brand new. Here, down here, we have some problems along the hedge line. But like I say, we're not getting enough sunlight. It's been under the sheet for three weeks and it will creep. Um, yeah, so overall pretty happy. Um, I'll show you across the canopy. Looking across, always looks better. So that's down low with the lawn. You can see, that's not too bad, is it? Not for this time of year. So it's gonna be like watercress in there, shallow rooted. So we keep it fenced off. We put some nutrients in there and um, 
keep it going throughout the winter really, like look after the roots and see what we can do with it. But um, overall very happy, so yeah. Have a look in the spring when all these flower beds are done and the edges are dug in, half moon all around the edges. And it's gonna be a nice, uh, nice space. As you can see from uh, the pictures I showed you earlier, um, it was a disaster zone. It was just like an area really that was unused and unusable. So yeah, so keep an eye on the channel, subscribe if you want, give us a like, that'd be nice. And um, come back in the spring and see what this is looking like. Don't forget guys, if you could like and subscribe, it'd be very helpful with the channel. Um, help us grow a little bit and see what we're doing with these lawns because uh, we're trying our best out here and um, yeah, we enjoy what we do. See you at the next one.